Uh, dear students, I welcome you to my online uh, lectures. I'll be your course instructor for engineering economics uh, for the next semester. My name is Dr. Mazullah Khan and uh, let me introduce myself. I did my MBA and then I did my MSc in financial economics and of course I did my PhD in economics as well from the same university. I did actually my MSc and PhD from Erasmus University. Uh, Career-wise, I started my career after MBA uh, back in 2000. I joined State Bank of Pakistan as a deputy director. And then I moved to Canada and started my career with Honda, which is one of the largest uh, manufacturers of uh, automobile. And it's actually not uh, only automobile, uh, Honda is the largest uh, manufacturer of engines. So they make uh, engines for uh, uh, airplanes, uh, let's say lawnmowers, uh, generators, uh, for boats. Uh, so they are in all sorts of uh, businesses. Uh, it is purely an engineering company. And it is actually one of those companies where the bylaws of the company states that the CEO of the company has to be uh, an engineer because what they think that since it's an engineering company uh, the CEO who is leading uh, the company should be an engineer uh, because the job of any engineering profession is actually to create other companies sometimes what they do they actually hire CEOs which have uh, a business background uh, and the main reason for that is of course they are more uh, in selling Honda on the other hand they are more what they believe in creating so I had lots of experience with Honda and I had the pleasure of working with those uh, individuals uh, which I have great respect for uh, very hard-working individuals uh, it's actually part of their culture. Um, they are not working hard only for promotions or let's say trying to show off, but it is uh, the way they are. They are very, very hard working individuals and I think it's part of their culture. Due to COVID, unfortunately, your batch is uh, not back on campus. So unless and until you are back on campus, uh, and uh, by the way, I'm very eager to see you in class again. Uh, until then, we will conduct our lectures uh, online. So my today talk is uh, about uh, the practicalities that are involved in online lectures. Um, the course content and material, of course, I will upload uh, those course material on uh, CMS. Uh, assignments again I will upload on uh, CMS and I will also collect them through uh, CMS. Sometimes uh, I may also communicate uh, with you through Microsoft Teams uh, but most of the time all the course material will be available on uh, CMS. I will record lectures of course um, in asynchronous mode and I will share those uh, YouTube links uh, through CMS again and Ms. Uh, Sabahat Orgzi uh, who is uh, assisting me in this course she will be actually sharing lots of material with you on uh, CMS some of the lectures I will do synchronous so in which I will interact with you uh, through a live session in Microsoft Teams and of course again Sabahat will uh, help me in uh, arranging those uh, live sessions the videos, of course, even if I'm talking to you live, I will record them for you. So let's say if you would like to go back and would like to, let's say, revise your concepts or would like to uh, go through the video again, of course, they will be available for you uh, through Microsoft uh, Teams. Uh, the good thing about Microsoft Teams that everything is actually on the course timeline. So even the recorded videos, you will get a link for uh, those videos in the course timeline. For your convenience, I will also upload the PowerPoint slides, uh, but I can tell you from my experience that PowerPoint slides 
please take it as uh, an indicative uh, list of actually of your readings. Uh, it is not a substitute for book reading. Uh, I have seen students in my last semester uh, who are more into book reading, actually they perform better. And the book that I am recommending actually for you, for, you uh, for this course, it's a very well written book. It's, a, it's probably one of the best books for uh, undergraduate students. And I understand that economics is something new for you. Uh, so I will try to make the whole material as uh, simple as uh, possible. Because the whole purpose is, of course, not to intimidate you, uh, but to give you something that is, that is very useful, that will be actually very useful for you in your careers. Uh, engineering economics, of course, it will give you essential analytical tools. Um, engineering is not about uh, creating. Uh, of course, it, about, it is about creating uh, projects uh, which earn some money actually for you as an entrepreneur or for the companies that you're working for. Sometimes you can come up with an ingenious idea, a wonderful idea, but sometimes that one is not financially feasible. So nobody would be willing to buy that uh, idea, that project. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, one TV show, it's called uh, Dragon's Den, uh, in which actually entrepreneurs get three minutes to pitch their uh, projects in front of like venture capitalists, uh, and you have to convince them that actually your idea is worth uh, making some money. So let's say if you are able to convince those individuals that this idea will make them some money, they will invest in your uh, idea. But let's say if you are unable to convince them, maybe your idea is brilliant. But if it does not make them any money, if an idea does not make yourself as an entrepreneur any money, uh, then probably it's not uh, worth it. The delivery and engagement, of course, the asynchronous uh, recorded lectures. I will record lectures each week. And as I said on my previous slide, those lectures will be shared on CMS and uh, Teams. For live interactions, the benefit, of course, is uh, that you should be able to ask me some questions. Participation in those live sessions is absolutely mandatory. Okay, um, Microsoft Teams. It's a fantastic uh, platform. It gives me the ability actually to mark your attendance as well. So attendance is absolutely mandatory. If you are participating in that live session, you will get uh, credit for uh, uh, attendance. And let's say if you are not part of that live session, unfortunately, you will not get any credit uh, for that. My email is my first name, which is mazula at gk.edu.pk. So if you have any questions, you can email me on uh, this uh, address. Class assessments. So, sorry, course assessments. Uh, participation will account for 5%. Uh, now, participation is actually more discretionary. Uh, as an instructor, I would like to make it as objective as possible. Uh, so the 5% of your course grade will account for class participation, assignments will be 10%, quizzes, it will be announced most of the time, but I may go for unannounced as well. Okay, it will account for 15%, midterm, 30% and final exam will be 40%. As long as we are conducting uh, these sessions online, the quizzes will be conducted through Microsoft uh, Teams. Uh, but once you're back on campus, of course, we will uh, do them in a, in a physical mode. And as I said, quizzes, again, let me emphasize, most of the time they will be announced, okay? Uh, so as I said, uh, the purpose of this uh, exercise is actually not to penalize you, but uh, in fact to give you an incentive to read in advance. Okay, so, but let's say if I'm getting a feedback that some students are not reading their books, 
I can go for an unannounced uh, quiz. Technologies that we'll be using, we will use of course YouTube uh, as a platform for uploading videos. Um, I'll be using Microsoft Teams. I'll provide you this link. It's a fantastic introduction to uh, using Microsoft Teams. And since you're a second year student, uh, I'm sure you know how to use it. Uh, but let's say if you would like to uh, would like to see how, how it works, there are nine short videos, and I highly recommend them uh, recommend them to you. Uh, please watch them. Um, these videos are made by actually Microsoft Teams, so they are very very crisp, to the point, precise. For technologies, again CMS, and uh, for emailing, we will use. Uh, Zebra. Our uh, uh, GAK's emails. Now the most important part is how do you learn? Okay, so of course you you will learn by what watching my videos. Okay, you will learn by reading my PowerPoint slides, and of course textbook. Now this one, as I say, PowerPoint slides does not replace actually the importance of uh, reading uh, the recommended book okay. and of course you can learn by interacting with me so if you have any questions from my recorded videos or during live sessions uh, please ask me those questions okay please do not feel shy sometimes you have questions but you actually uh, feel a little bit shy and you do not uh, you do not ask me those questions. Um, I remember one of the students, and I watched it somewhere, I think on a TV show, uh, the student was a little bit shy and he wouldn't ask uh, his teacher any questions. So the teacher said, it's a good idea to ask me questions in front of other students and look stupid for let's say one minute rather than you not asking me a question and then remain stupid for the rest of your life. So I would seriously, seriously recommend you that if you have any questions, if you need any clarifications or, or anything, please feel free to uh, send me an email. If you would like to see me face by face, uh, let's say if you are back on campus, of course we have to follow some SOPs. Uh, please uh, book an appointment and uh, because of the COVID, unfortunately, as a student, you have to follow some SOPs as, and as an instructor, I have to follow some uh, SOPs. So as long as we follow those SOPs, uh, you are more than welcome to my office and then we can have a quick chat and I will like to, I, I will try to actually answer your questions. Uh, the other way you can learn from this course is, of course, by interacting uh, with the your other classmates. Um, learning from your classmates it's one of the most important uh, important uh, thing in learning and since GIK is a residential campus you have ample opportunity to uh, discuss different things uh, with your colleagues uh, and he or she I mean uh, I think that you can learn from, from their experience as well. Uh, it's, it's not about only you, I also learn from you. So I learn from my students and uh, I have learned a lot actually from my students in the last semester and I look forward to learn from you as well. One thing I can uh, recommend that let's say if you have any questions, you can of course send me an email. Uh, but the best way would be actually post those questions on Microsoft Teams so that other students can also see those questions and uh, they can also learn from it. So a recommended method is please post your questions on Microsoft Teams. Uh, we would also create a WhatsApp group. I would like to explore this possibility with uh, Sabahat. Uh, but for now, actually, we will focus more on Microsoft Teams and uh, our email accounts. Success recipe, what I can tell you from my experience, uh, students who are motivated, 
because online teaching is something very new very new for you as a student and very new for us as uh, teachers uh, and uh, I'll be honest with you we are not uh, trained for uh, online teaching okay so the best success recipe I can give you is actually keep yourself motivated in online learning you have to show exempl exemplary discipline so for example let's say if I record a lecture and I share those links with you uh, of course you have to watch those videos if you do not watch them you will not learn from it okay and sometimes it it is a little bit boring actually uh, to watch a 20 or 25 or 30 minutes video okay so what I can suggest uh, to you is uh, show some discipline please be motivated and watch those videos the other thing is ask questions okay ask questions before it's too late and the reason I said too late because chapters they keep on building on each other so for example chapter number two would be mostly based on chapter number one so let's say if you have some questions in chapter number one and you do not me ask me those questions uh, at that point in time of course you will find it a little bit difficult in uh, grasping the ideas in chapter number two uh, so please ask me questions uh, and as I said learn from your colleagues okay uh, your colleagues uh, he or she may be uh, instrumental let's say in uh, motivating you or let's say uh, sharing their uh, understanding of different ideas with you sharing their uh, let's say uh, even if they share uh, their life experiences with you of course we learn from uh, each other that way okay I will also give you some exercises those exercises uh, will be recommended Okay, so let's say if I uh, teach you, let's say chapter number three, there are some chapter and uh, exercises. So I will recommend you to, I will give you actually a list of exercises which I think uh, are the most important one in terms of mastering those uh, concepts. So at the end, I would like to thank you for uh, your attention. And as I said, if you have any questions, you can uh, email me at my email address which is masulla at gk.edu.pk uh, your my teaching assistant is uh, Ms. Sabahat Orze I'm sure she's already sent you an email uh, her email is sabahat at gk.edu.pk uh, one thing I would like to recommend that let's say if anything is course related please send me an email like for example any question on the content okay uh, but let's say if there is something administrative I would recommend you to send email to Sabah okay so academic questions to me uh, administrative questions to uh, Ms. Sabah uh, I thank you very much uh, again for your attention and uh, we will upload our first lecture very soon uh, hopefully by tomorrow um, and as I said I'm very eager to see you uh, back on campus uh, unless and until uh, you're back on campus unfortunately we have to conduct uh, our stuff online so I wish you all the best 